Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Oh, I can't wait to get inside this box. Oh, I'm really excited. I know it's sad, but I'm just really excited. Shall we have a look? Yes, yes, yes. Let's have a look. Yes, let's. Okay, right, calm down. <gasps> Breathe. Whew. Take the pills. Chill. It's all right. Everything's fine. So, I just need to explain, first of all. Normally, I don't buy duplicates of the machines that I already own. So that's a clue. You have seen my, my version of this cleaner on the channel previously. I did a video on it ages and ages ago. And then we saw the very last version of it, which belongs to my friend John, which I've still got in the garage and I need to restore at some point. So then I saw this one on eBay and it was very reasonably priced and it was an amazing set, basically. So I thought to myself, compared to what I've already got, this is a really good buy because I can sell the one I've currently got and then replace that one with this one in my collection. That's the plan, you see. So there's method to my madness. So we need to have a look inside. We need to see what we've got. We have to put it on the floor. Oh, it's quite heavy. Ugh. So, the, I, yeah, this was on eBay. I can't remember if I just randomly came across it or it was posted on one of my funny Hoover groups. I can't, I can't remember, but um, whatever, whatever it was, it was on, on eBay. As I buy it now for £100. I thought that is quite a lot of money. And I am poor. I'm poor. But I thought, you know what? That's such a good buy. It's just a really, really good buy. Right, okay. Oh, oh no. I think he's put... Oh, I hate it when people do that. See, people are... People... It's so annoying when people are trying to be really helpful, but actually what they've done is really not helpful. And you'll see what I mean by that. So let me, let me get it out of the box. It's very well packed, I will say, but unfortunately, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, there, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, loving it. Loving it. It's a boxed Hoover Constellation. Look at that. This is my second boxed uh, Connie. Um, I do have another one. I've got a 60s one upstairs. I forget which model it is. No, can't, can't remember, but it's the it's the mid 60s one. It's like the the green one. What colour is that? Can't remember. Anyway, who cares? Sod it. Here we have a box 8678. Look, and it's the, the original Hoover box. Oh, I see a label. What's on that label? Let's have a look. Come around here. Oh, here we go. Sold. Uh, two over 20 West Street in the, the something or other. So interestingly, it says on this box, the outer box that it came in, uh, that the sender is Mr. D. G. Over. So I can only assume that when Mr. Over bought this, this is the original sold sticker that was put on, on the, the cleaner when Mr. Over bought it. Or perhaps it was Mr. Over's parents, mm, possibly. Now, there is a, there's a, uh, what, what we got here on the top, there's like a label. Uh, oh, this is just for, um, thank you for your purchase, it's much appreciated. I hope your item has arrived safely. When you receive your item, please leave me feedback, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but do you see what I'm, see what I'm saying about, they're trying to be helpful, but they've put modern box tape on this very, very old box. And I'm like, oh, I don't want that on the box. I really, really, really don't want it on the box. So we might get away actually, because I think they've taped over old tape. So let's just very gingerly, very gingerly, just pull this tape off and hope that it doesn't rip the box. I don't think it will. I think it's gonna be all right actually. Yep, come on, come on. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay. This is good. This is good. This is very old tape, so it's coming off. 
Yeah, that's coming off. That's good. And that's just falling away. I don't know. Let's have a look underneath a sec. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to remove all of this tape. And I have to remind myself not to lift it. If I just pull this off without damaging the box, I think I can. Oh, it's coming. Let's be very careful. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, flip neck. So there's no tape on the bottom of the box now. So remind me to not lift it up because it's just going to fall out and just go smash, which would not be ideal. So that's all, that's all the old tape. We don't want that. Um, yeah, so that, that can go. So we have our box constellation. The box is not bad. It's not bad. This box is as old as me. It is now 44 years old. So which constellation did we get? So if I'm 44 and the year is 2022 and you've already seen one of these on the channel. Or did you make it all right? Did you make it all right? I think you did. Rods. Lovely. Now, judging by what I saw on the eBay listing, this machine has not had a great deal of use. There's the flip over floor tool. And as you can see, it's looking quite nice. That is looking pretty good. I've seen them in a lot worse shape than that, I, I will say. Let's pop that there. Um, and we've got the, um, uh, let's put the hose in. The hose is plugged in the machine. So get that out. Yeah, okay, right, hang on. I can grab the crevice tool. Yay, one crevice tool. And the dusting brush. Look at that, that dusting brush has hardly had any use at all. Look at that, that's amazing. That's like new. That's just like been stored. Oh, careful. We have the all-purpose tool. I can't remember if it's the all-purpose tool was with it. Um, we might find it. Let's take the hose out. Here's our hose. Oh, there we are. There's our lovely, genuine, proper Hooverflex hose. Yeah, that's good. Again, that's looking really nice. Nice, nice and clean. Now, right, here we go. Okay, I can't see an all-purpose tool, unfortunately, but let's pull the machine out. Oh, there's some paperwork. Oh, here we go. Look, hey, it's a eggy yellow. Let's move that down there. Look at that. Oh, wow. An eggy yellow, a 70s one. And there's a bit of paperwork here too. What's this? Oh, look. Oh my God. It's the instruction booklet. How cool is that? Have we got the instruction booklet as well? Now that's showing the blue uh, the, that's the blue version of the Connie. So they obviously didn't, um, they didn't retake the pictures. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Just use, just use that one. Instruction book. Awesome. So no all purpose tool, which is unfortunate, but I guess no, no real surprise, but isn't that fantastic to have the box though? Oh, wow. That's so cool. I just need to put that like that, do something like that with it. I just, I just want to be really careful with the box. Just really, really careful with the box. Just don't want to rip it. Oh, I'll go down there. Okay, right, that, that, that can go down there. Right, let's check out the machine. Okay, there's a few, there's a few little marks to the paint, but do you know what? My God, that is so much nicer than the one I've got. That it really does look fantastic, actually. That looks great. Oh, wow. If I just turn it around this way, you can see there's a couple of little marks to, to the paintwork, but it's nothing horrendous. And there's a little bit of plastic missing out from the from the top of the plug as well, but it's not a Hoover plug. It's an EverReady plug. These are really nice plugs, actually. I think I'll probably leave that on there. Um, so let's have a look at its bottom and let's date it and see what year it is. So I guess it's 1978. So let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's March of 1978. So this machine was born 
in March of 1978, and I was born in April of 1978. So this little fella is one month older than I am. So I think you can probably see now why I bought it. The fact that it's got the box, it's got almost the complete toolkit, it's got the instruction book. The machine itself is in lovely shape. I will say that the, um, the flex has reacted with the handle um, as they always do. I don't know if you can, 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 can you see that all right? There's like um, melting here on the handle where the, where the flex has been against it for so many years. But that's all right, we can, we can smooth that off with a Dremel. We can use the Dremel for that. Let's have a look inside. Ooh, open it, open him up. Uh, what have we got? That is a really nasty dust bag. <laughs> Oh my God, that is the cheapest, nastiest Hoover Constellation dust bag I have ever seen in my life. That is a single wall bag with barely a seal on it. That's glued there along that edge. Do you know what? I can see through that. I can actually see through that dust bag. That is utterly, utterly terrible. Oh, we've got to get that off. I think it will probably rip actually. I, I can't I can't really convey to you how bad that is because it is just so thin. Ugh, no. No, that's not gonna come off. I think I think it's kind of just like welded itself to the metal. No, I'm gonna have to take that up to the workshop to um take that off. That is terrible. That is genuinely the worst dust bag I have ever seen. Uh, we do have some paint flakage around the inside edge here of the of the top motor cradle. Um, I suspect what's happened there is that um, moisture has got caught between the um, top seal um, and it's just basically resided in there for so many years that it started to eat, eat away at the paint. Now what we can do is we can check out the other one if that top cradle section is better in the other one, we'll take it off that and put it on this one. I have a feeling it might be. So that's that's what we'll do. Um, I'm just gonna, because I really wanna turn it on, but I'm not gonna turn it on with all this all the dust in this filter. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna get the Dyson, uh, the handheld Dyson, just quickly wang it over this filter. So I should be right back. Right, a good old Dyson V8 here. So let's just suck this off. too bad in the end to be honest with you um, I've, I've seen a lot worse than, than that so I think what we should do is turn him on and see if he works now are we gonna have the same situation as we had with the 94 <laughs> we shall see god even the cable is unbelievably clean I don't think this has done much work in its life I really really don't I think this has been pretty much kept in its box for, for virtually its entire life, I reckon. Let's see where we are. Yeah, that's off. Okay. Is that off? I don't know. Oh yeah, it is. Right. Okay. Now, <laughs> Electrolux suppressors, as you've seen, produce a huge cloud of smoke. Hoover suppressors make a loud bang. A, a loud bang. A loud bang. A loud bang. <laughs> really got to stop drinking before I make these videos. Really, really have. Anyway, here we go.
there's a definite vibration there. And I think... I think it might be the fans. I think the fans are loaded up with, uh, with dust. And to be honest with you, it would not have surprised me. If that's what the poor thing has been having to use, then yeah, I would absolutely not be surprised for one second if a load of dust has gone through and got caught in in the, the motor. But we can take it apart. Yeah, look, there's a very, there's a fine amount of dust just all over its bottom. If I finger its bottom, there's a load of dust. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I think it's very dusty in there. So that needs to be taken apart. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely cleaned out. Not too much paint coming off the bottom skirt, actually. Look at the skirt there. That's pretty good in comparison to a lot of machines. Um, oddly, I can see a, a, a gap uh, between the skirt and the body, um, which you don't normally see. So there's like an, an air leak here. Um, I think what I might do is just pop a little bit of silicon filler uh, just on the on the under not not on the outside obviously because you'd see it but I think if I just popped a little bit and the, the skirt is ever so slightly loose and mm, yeah that's weird you don't normally see that normally the skirts are on really tight and there's no gap at all but obviously with a gap around the skirt the machine is not going to float particularly well so we might just put a little a little bead of silicon sealant on that just to seal it up make sure it's absolutely 100% airtight but no I think that's really good actually that's a really nice find I'm very very pleased with it it's certainly better than the one I've currently got and after we've given this some work and some love and attention it would be <laughs> absolutely beautiful it would be absolutely beautiful and the fact that I've got the original box for it as well for a hundred pounds I think that's a really good buy I think that is a really good buy, so I'm very, very pleased with that. You need to find an all-purpose tool. Shame that there's no AP tool, but uh, we can find one. It'll be fine. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Just having a look at the um, 867A Eggy Hoover constellation in all of its glory, in all of its beauty. I'm really pleased with this, actually. I'm really, really pleased, but uh, yeah. The next video we do on this cleaner, we'll take it apart, uh, we'll give it a service, we'll find a really good dust bag for it, clean the filter, clean up all the tools and everything, and then we'll see it in, in action. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, yeah, there we go. Until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to do the usual commenting, subscribing and liking. It really helps me out. Well, I've got dust in my nose and I appreciate it massively. But uh, until next time, see you soon. Take care. Bye.